What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be discussing the movie called A Quiet Place starring Emily Butt and uh, John Kronowski. John Kronowski is not only starring in this movie, but he's also directing this movie. Uh, this film is a suspense thriller. It's been hailed by critics. I can say it's a very unique film. It's a very different film. Um, that it's literally a quiet place if you actually seen the film. And the family, they got to communicate by like sign language and stuff. And I have no idea why I was doing that. But um, the creatures in the film, they do not see. They only go by sound. And you kind of see an earlier glimpse of the creatures in the movie when they have the introduction of the film when they're at a, I guess the kids are like at a abandoned grocery store the one of the kids grabs like a little rocket the sister gets rid of the batteries but as they're leaving the kid picks up the batteries and he makes a little noise on the toy when they're crossing the bridge and before you know it he gets swooped out like that by a giant alien like creature uh, this film is like a very interesting film, but like I said, it's literally a silent film because most of the words are done with subtitles. There's probably less dialogue in the film. I think it's a good watch. You check it out. You, you might find it at the Red Box. If you're gonna rent it. If you like it, you can go ahead and buy it at any store around. But um, it should be uh, very different when it comes to, I guess, horror films or suspense thrillers. Uh, these creatures are like big spider-like, but uh, like I said, they don't, they don't got no eyes. So just like the least noise you make, um, they already spot you and stuff. Um, I think it's a very interesting film to watch, and I think uh, you might have a good time if that's your cup of tea or your glass of lemonade. But uh, everyone has their different, I guess, type of genre when it comes to watching suspense thrillers or horror type films. I liked it. I uh, watched it with my mother. She's not a big fan of the film at all. But uh, I'd like to hear your take on it. When uh, this video on here, you can comment on the in the comment section below the video and let me know your thoughts on this film. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What do you thought they could have done differently with it? I know uh, it only covers the family that's in the film and there's really no... Um, well, it doesn't explain how the world got that way. How the world uh, got, I guess, depopulated by this alien-like race and why there's only that family. So it would be interesting if they did a prequel on A Quiet Place and see uh, how that went. You know, kind of like a little origin story. But overall, I think it's a fun and entertaining film, but you got to be very patient and actually um, put up with the quietness of the movie. But other than that, it takes time to build up momentum. There are some characters that are real stubborn, like the children in the film, they're real stubborn, especially the daughter. The father tells her to uh, do certain things and she goes off and does whatever she wants anyways. Luckily, you know, she doesn't get herself killed. You know, but I would say that the children are probably the most incompetent characters of the movie. You, if you don't believe me, check it out yourself. But uh, this is my review for A Quiet Place, starring Emily Blunt and John Kronowski. And uh, later on this week, I should be uh, doing a video for uh, the WWE SummerSlam 2018 prediction, since SummerSlam is right around the corner. So for you wrestling fans around here look out for that video because that video should be coming up real soon too so i'll see you guys later y'all have a great day and uh, we'll talk later all right peace